The millets are a group of highly variable small seeded grasses, widely grown around the world as cereal crops or grains for both human food and animal fodder. It is also known as sorghum. Millet is three to five times more nutritionally superior than rice and wheat in terms of proteins, minerals, and vitamins. Millets are rich in vitamin B, calcium, iron, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, and it is gluten-free. Thus, millets are suitable for people with allergies to wheat and for diabetic patients. You can reduce your weight by consuming millet. Hi friends, welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Millet Varieties 1. Pearl Millet 2. Finger Millet or Ragi 3. Foxtail Millet or Koralu 4. Kodo Millet 5. Prozo Millet Climate Requirements for Millets Millets require warm temperatures for germination and development and are sensitive to frost. For these reasons, they are normally planted from mid-June to mid-July month. The optimum soil temperature for seed germination is between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Prozo and foxtail millet are efficient users of water and grow well in areas of low moisture, partly because they are early and thereby avoid periods of drought. Millets are often grown as catch crops where other crops have failed due to unfavorable weather. Soil Requirements for Millet Millets produce well on well-drained loamy soils. They will not stand waterlogged soils or extreme drought. Prozo millet does not make good on coarse, sandy soils. Seed preparation and germination of millets. A fungicide will give protection against head smut and may increase seedling survival. Seedbed preparation. Seedbed preparation for millet is related to that for spring seeded small grains. Weeds must be controlled prior to planting and the seed bed should be firm and well worked. Since millets are planted late in the season, spring ploughing and farming for weed control are practical. Method and date of seeding A seeding rate of 20 pounds per acre is suggested for prozo millet. Foxtail millet must be sown at a rate of 15 pounds per acre. Millets are generally seeded with a grain drill at a depth of 1 inch. Even though the seed is small, it can develop extreme elongation of the first internodes and even deeper unless a hard crust forms. Press wheels on the drill will increase seedbed firmness and aid in stand establishment. Millets compete poorly with weeds, therefore, high seeding rates are essential to establish a dense stand. Fertility and Lime Requirements Nitrogen is usually the most limiting nutrient in millet production. Rates of nitrogen must be based on yield goals and cropping history. Excess nitrogen, whether applied or residual, may affect lodging. Allow for nitrogen useful as manure or other waste. Phosphorus and potassium should be applied as needed based on soil recommendations. Drill row applications of fertilizer may cause seedling injury and are not recommended. A pH level of 5.6 or higher is recommended for millet. Animals and insects problems in sorghum crop. Birds are the main reason for yield loss. The crop may be attacked by corn earworms, aphids, and some Lepidoptera larvae, including turnip moths. Millet's diseases and their control. Head smut can be a problem in prozo millet but can be restricted by seed treatment. Kernel smut can be present in both prozo millet and foxtail millet. This disease requires seed treatment and crop rotation for effective control, as the inoculum will remain in the soil for several years. Grain mold is a major disease in sorghum and occasionally may be observed on pearl millet and finger millet. The first visible symptoms of sorghum appear on spikelet tissues as pigmentation of the lemma, palia or gloom, or fungal growth on anthers and filaments. Harvesting methods of millets Millets are ready for harvest when seeds in the upper half of the panicle are mature. 
Seeds in the lower half of the panicle may still be in the dough stage but must have lost their green color. At this point, the leaves and stems may still be green. Millet is generally harvested by swathing to allow drying of straw before combining. Swathing too early reduces yield, test weight and color quality. Harvesting too late increases loss as a result of shattering and lodging. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.